We pray for Johnny Mercy. We pray that you take control of everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, ancient of days. Be thou exalted, mighty God, in Jesus. Most wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
lived by your daughter Edna Benos. We appreciate you for all you have used her and impacted on people's life on earth. We appreciate for Lord it pleased you to take her. We appreciate God that you have made it possible for her, Lord, to enter the house once again. Lord, as we process for the burial, we ask your presence to go with us. We ask your Lord to console you. Be with us in everything we are going to do, that your name alone shall be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, can I see that
Strapa, Lendu Suma, Lendia Hemi Polybe, University Community, Born of our dear witness, No Asia Mutinate, Born Larry, Sonia Blanca, or Quadrangle Gendo Gendo Muru Lilania, not Gendo Muru Lilania. I'm Hannah Batando Gani, our in-laws from Archie, and we said, You're welcome. God bless you. I'm a Panandio Zok and I'm a Zonadia. I'm a Jehovah Gemma Kurehamara. I had to tell you that. So, women. Niko Kuludu. I'm a Tuleke. Okay. Niko Kuludu. Niko Kuludu. Niko Kuludu. Shall we stand everywhere, please? Wherever you are hearing me, please be on your feet as we thank God together. Christ be with you all. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please have your spirit. God bless you. We want to welcome everybody. Wherever you are coming from, whatever your title, please, you are recognized. This service is being anchored by the President of Nigeria, Ishia Blessed Parish, the Surapa community. In Izango, local local government of Ebony State, we are happy to have you arrive safely. The Lord who has brought you will also take you back safely in Jesus' name. And on this note, I want to ask that if you are a pastor, evangelist, um, reverend, whatever title you have, in any of Christian denominations, please, you are highly invited to sit with me here. Wherever you are hearing me from, and you are a minister of the gospel, please, you are invited to come over here. We have some rich seats reserved for you.
God, as we sing the Amen. Before that, let's go to another program and uh, let's go into geography. Uh, the first person to come is the, fa the first one. Edna was loved by her brothers. Education. Eddie, as her late husband would always call her, began her educational career at the Holy Trinity Primary School, Apple Archie, and completed it in 1966. From 1973, she attended Immaculate Arts Secondary School, and about in the East Central States, but now Abia States. In 1979, she proceeded to the then Anambra State College of Education, Oka, to study biology. Not done with NCE certificates, Edna moved over to the University of Nigeria, Musuka, from where she graduated with bachelor's degree in biology in 1986. <coughs> Marriage. On the 29th of March 1980, then Miss Edna Mbechi Ulekwe from the famous Mbekwe family of Amenti Achi, the local government area in Enugu State, got married to her heart rock, Benji, and they are blessed with two boys, Benjamin Emmanuel and Williams Atkins, also a mass communicator. Business career. Edna had a very interesting career in the business world, having established a fashion outfit at Okota in the solo coded Zani Touch with long list of clientele. She was the executive director, chief executive officer. During that same period, she launched out into bulk wholesale and distribution of various goods at public markets. Not done with that, Eddie further enrolled at the University of Lagos for her master's degree in education. She, she earned her master's in education in guidance counseling in 2005. I'm a passionate member of the Girls' Guide, occupied important positions in the state, and made reasonable contributions towards the success and growth of the organization. She was also active in community service, a devout Christian. She was a member of the Women's Guild of Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, having served in various portfolios from the New City, Yaba, Lagos, and Zia Blessed Parish. She was conferred with so many awards by the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, notably the Diamond Mother by Zia Blessed Parish. <clears throat> a house was certainly home for all as she accommodated all that came to her house. It is possible that this slogan, home for all, was copied from her by one of the states in the southeast. 
Eddie will always do so with smiles and happiness, written all over her face. One cannot come to her house and go away without eating something. Indeed, she was very generous, kind-hearted, loving and gentle. Edna was ever ready to prepare food and drinks to give to soldiers and federal wing safety officials on duty during any festive period. That is her kind kind of person. Work experience. Yes. In 2005, she joined her husband who relocated to the Gold State from Lagos, abandoning her lucrative business just to be with her husband. She then took up issue according to the of her state university staff secondary school, CAS, about the kid. As both biology teacher and guidance counselor, a position she held until her retirement from service. Farewell, Mom. Farewell, Eddie. Farewell, Wani Oma. Farewell, Ever Smile Mama. Until we need to part no more. Let no one have her. Her children, her siblings, in laws, in sex, and a host of other relations. Amen. We cannot take all in the brochure. I get where they are, go full, go full. Let's go to page page uh, 12. I hear from Mr. and Mrs. Chidendo Ezozo. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a, a tribute to let Mrs. Edna Mbechozo, wife of a uh, deceased younger brother, Professor Ben Madukaozo. Edna, the picture of you that keeps popping up to us is that of the biblical virtuous woman, a silent achiever and a jewel to the other family. You were a crown to our late younger brother and your late dear husband, Professor Ben Madikauzo. Together, the two of you joined hands to build a beautiful and enviable home. Alas, the wicked and cruel hands of death rob us of first your dear husband and uh, our brother, and now you, our dear wife and mother. However, our able God the owner of the ends of heaven and earth, our God of righteousness, our King and our God, in his word, has proven that he is in charge of the world and all that is in it, and that includes your two surviving children, Emmanuel and Chukunansu, they remain in the excellent hands of heaven and earth, our God of righteousness, our King and our God, in his word, has proven that he is in charge of the world and all that is in it and that includes your two surviving children, Emmanuel and Chukunansu. They remain in the excellent and able hands of our God. Fare you well, Mr. and Mrs. Chilindu, Ezogo, MNI, Abuja. Thank you.
That's in page 23. I believe only God can fail. You play the only role in my life. You are good memories will ever remain fresh in my life. Then we remember you for your kindness, hospitality, and your lost. However, my soul is that you are resting on the bosom of our Lord. And you, sister, she then bear with Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us hear from the Nigerian Girls Guy Association, page 26. Tribute to our guys, be prepared. The news of your passing on the entire glory to us in guiding sisterhood. Called for a summary information of our motto to be prepared all the time to meet our creator. As a guider, you will be vibrant, active, and always prepared to join the activities of sisterhood. As you can, as you can, you stand, and now you have contact. Sister Eden, as we are, you wear, and as you are now. You will one day be assured that you will continue to do the work you left for us. Rest on the bosom of the Lord Jesus Christ to we meet to the path home more. I do what the guider. Let us hear from the women. From the women's guild of Presbyterian Church is a pleasant parish to our mother, Mrs. Edna Ben also. It is hard to put into words how we felt about your passage to the eternity. Of course, the natural emotions of loss and nostalgia all over us. One thing in life is not is not how long but how well. The Bible says, if only in this life. We have hope. We are all men, most miserable. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 19. Our beloved diamond mother, 
understood the scripture and followed Christ. 8 January 2022 will forever remain in our hearts. The day a saint went home. The news of your demons was very shocking and devastating to the entire women's guild. Is here blessed parish example. It is hard to believe that the angels carried you home at a time when we needed you most. Let mommy Edna Be Benjamin also derive joy in the happiness of others and never weathered any good thing from anyone when it is when it was in her power to do so. She was a great woman of faith and a prayer warrior. She remained undoubted and wavered, not in her faith, even in the face of adversity. She commanded respect as a virtuous woman. She was a godly woman by excellence, an inspirer, a, a mentor to the needy, a disciplinarian, an encourager, a teacher of faith, a humble, loving, and generous woman, a generous mother, who loves so to serve God with her time, treasure, and talent. She served humanity and touched many lives positively. She was given an award of honor as a diamond mother by the Women's Guild in Zia Parish. We have come to praise God for the life she lived and she touched within and outside her family. We pray that God will comfort and be with you all. Please accept her heartfelt condolences and be consoled in Jesus. May her soul, may her gentle soul rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Farewell, Diamond Mother. You fought a good fight and you won the race. Elder Mrs. Nenna Bonagbeze, President Women's Guild. Praise the Lord. But because of time, let us hear the last one, and that is from the parish where our mommy worshipped. The Presbyterian Church, a blessed is your Nigeria. Is a blessed parish to the author's family? It's wrap a community. Is here. Beloved in Christ, condolence message. We ran to commiserate with you over the death of your wife and mother. Let Mrs. Eden also welcome to us as a terrifying shock. The fact remains that the death of a beloved one always leaves an incomprehensible and indelible shock, pain, and infinity. However, that is an unfathomable mystery reside within the confines of the Almighty, of which no mortal is fit enough to comprehend. It is true, she's God, but her role in serving humanity was indeed indelible. Our prayer is that the Lord grant your family and entire Christian community of Isia, especially Isia Blessed Parish of the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. Do remember that true Christians do not cry hopelessly. Instead, find courage to look unto Christ. Hebrew 12, 2. With the consolation that in the resurrection morning, we will meet again. United unto eternity. If we continue to abide in Him. If we continue to abide with Him. Please take heart. We grieve with you. Amen. 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 We we'll now give uh, that the uh, Reverend Amor the next. Our sister, let me just add in the also. I request that we all stand up to observe a minute silence to our honor. Let us stand. <laughs> Father, you have done what you wish. We have no regret that our mommy is back to you. 
because it is the lot of every living human being to bow out of this life one day. So we thank you for taking the care of we are doing here today. What we will do will give glory to your name. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you for the tributes that have been read. Thank you for all the things that have been done. The ones that are yet to be done also we hand over to you. Be glorified, O oh God, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us prepare us to hear the word of God as we say the reverse the Abuibo because Abuibo one nine one S S and S. With you we are comforted. With you we are consoled. Speak to us now. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. People of God, I want to bless the Lord the Lord for your presence well, to our mother. A mother that you know better than I do. And on this note, I want to console the other family. I want to console the praise of the Lord bless the parish. I pray also consolation to all of you that lost this woman that I sat down to hear every testimony that you reached on list of her. And I know that by the time that everyone who testified of her said almost the same thing. Please be consoled. Please be consoled. Please be consoled, all of you. Amen. This afternoon, It pleases the Lord to bring us together to share on a very short message that says, Who will mourn you in a moment like this? Who will mourn you? Onyege Berega Akwa, Nojo Bede Kanka. Oh, yeah. 
You can bring it, you can say, who will cry for you if you like? Who are you? In a moment like this. I was just holding my tears. For the short time I knew her. What I saw was very far away from what you are testifying. There's nothing you can talk about her. My brother. All your testimonies put together were just maybe half of what I saw in her. Why did we choose Aaron in a day like this? The Bible says that Aaron slept as the Lord directed. In other words, it wasn't Aaron that sought to die. It was the Lord that chose to take testified that Magna never wanted to live at this time. It pleased the Lord to take her. And that's why I say, please be consoled. God knows better than that we do. Aaron was significant in the life of the Israelites. on their behalf. When Moses had chosen to have that as an excuse, you know me, no, I can't talk. But especially addressing a crowd. Like, oh, no, no, God, please, don't, 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 don't try me, oh, please. You know I can't, I can't do it. No way. You know it. You have a brother. Go and complain to Aaron. And so Aaron and that's why he was very significant in the life and journey of the Israelites. People of God. When it pleased the Lord to take Aaron, he had no choice. He offered himself and went the way. But what made me, you know, to feel so touched as I read this place was that Immediately, they heard that Aaron could not return with those who went with him. The entire Israel mourned him for how many days? For how many days? They mourned him for 30 days. How Aaron only had a for 30 days. When they lost Moses, how about Moses after for 30 days? I want to show you the more. Do you know that after mourning these people, there was yet another man that the people when they heard that he was gone. On Puran Deya, I see Mbaeba Hongara Mwa, the place he went and died there. They shouted, No! No! And they chose to mourn that one for 70 days. People of God. Edna came, Edna came all the way from another place to die here. And that's why you are here to mourn her. You heard all the tributes, all the Congress messages, all of them together 
said almost the same thing. A woman of virtue, a generous woman, a woman of prayer, a fervent woman, a faithful woman, a soldier of prayer. When the hand of police, there will be more than my dinner with his, with his lips or her lips. Everything written about her, except we are losing somebody here. Who will want you? If um, there's no other place after here, let me remind you that it is absolutely wrong if you chose to go that way. There is a life after life, isn't it? Even a traditionalist believes that there is the life after here. And your scripture says it. Every religion knows very quite well, pretty well, that there is life after here. So the question is, when you live here, yeah. And everybody came testifying, saying almost the same thing we are saying here. How the man was a good man? How the man was this? How the man was this? Was he in the restaurant and came and collected the microphone and said, I can't bear it anymore. I can't bear it anymore. Every one of you is like you have forgotten who is lying down here. Even was for 30 days. Now, let me remind you, this was because they knew that something has been lost. Good roads and Palakaya road that took this river and they passed through. So they valued him. They valued him. In fact, it was this young man, the old man, that if you go through your scriptures, you see that right inside the Ark of the Covenant, Hannah Israel, he may be asking, you know, what to need me here for the name of the Lord. And so they knew who they lost. And for 30 days, they said, no eating, no drinking. We have lost something. Because I know that 
if you are to be given the opportunity, you will call this woman the cash of our time. My dear. Please, Lord, release her back to the people. Okay, I order not to put the, the water. Live your life that others will be happy when she tap the other half of the world because I will be there so that you live your life. Let it not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. No, Lord, we can't afford to lose Peter. We can't afford to. People starting money in him, even here. No, now on hand or nothing will Peter. Peter was released. And the Bible says he went straight to the door and started knocking. Because people lamented. And I want to ask. Will it be a disappointment or a blessing to the living? Lazarus lost the life and buried, was buried even after four days. When the Lord heard it, I said, Mother, honey, Baba, neighbor, I said, No. I said, No. To mention that, the Lord said, Oh, yeah, for the fact that you are now lamenting, you are showing me where he was buried. As immediately they. Jesus started crying. And it was in that cry that heaven opened and released back. As if you have no tomorrow. Don't be a thorn on the flesh of the living. Remember that the day is coming. The day of, it is only God that knows will come. And then recalling will be required of your activities. Can you come to the Lord Jesus? You come here. Many years ago, you were not here. Why are you here now? Why are you here now? And after living here, where will you go from here? Will Jesus recognize you? My Edna has a good testimony before us. And I know from your hearts that all your testimonies are your testimonies. Nariomi Galota Rapun Degi Tenadu Yegi Galu Zondo So Jesus Nazu Oloke Madu Ketara Nimua Oku Furotu Togeya That it will continue to be a lesson to the dead. That the day is coming when we shall live here on our thoughts. Thank you, Lord, as you teach us from here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus, I need
you have taken home. We appreciate you this day for the family loss she has left behind. Lord, into your hands I commit the entire Ozo's family. Into your hands I commit the entire family that this death Lord has affected Lord. You that knows how to console your people. Lord, Lord console them in your own way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Into your hands, Lord, I commit the entire family. Especially, Lord, Emma and the nonsense. So they used to receive from their mom. Be their counselor. Be their upholder. In every stage they will move in life, oh God, guide them. Guide them in their work. Guide them mentally. Guide them all around in the name of Jesus Christ. A good old age, when they must have finished the divine assignment upon their lives, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Not to everyone that have traveled from far and near to be in this barrier of God. By the time they shall be going back, I pray for Johnny Mrs. No bad news shall be had. Thank you, Father. As you have answered our prayers, the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is well. No, I said, ah, I believe that one has not taken place, but finally she's here. My friend and sister, Reverend Mrs. Atim Daniel Ube. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. To God ever be the glory. Our pastor is here, the anchorman of this service. Pastor Onyeka. Pastor Onyeka, greet your church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, my friend, our son, Father Jesus. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. People of God, join me with a clap and say that we welcome the bishop. On Sabakali Kita Yosis, President of Nigeria, Bishop Joyce. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Ben's house for entertainment. The church and the rest will be here. Church members and the rest, every other person will be here. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for that brief announcement. People of God, I was told that the, our in-laws from Ache, that uh, very soon they will just come in, please. If you notice the arrival, please let me know. I also want to thank uh, the guest guide for finding time to come. Guest guide, may the Lord bless you. You are welcome. We we'll recognize you. And everybody that found time to be here, God bless you all in Jesus' name. We we'll move on to... Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
from now, we are going to beat Ma the last fair we're there. And so, if you are ready, we want to remind ourselves what I said last night, I repeat again, because many of you were not there. I want to please beg you, have a feeling for the departure of this woman. We want to collect a special offering now. Unlike the one you gave before now, what I, want, what I will expect from you is a bigger one. Reason being that if you are touched by the departure of this woman, we want to put light in that compound so that light will be shining there. At her absence, there will be no darkness there. If you are touched by the departure of this woman, please help us. There are some things we would like to do as a church and as a people. Ma has gone. This may be your last, um, last uh, attention to her. Please help me as we give this offering. It will be for the family and solely for the family. Whatever you think you can use in supporting this wonderful loss that we have incurred, please help us for the family. <laughs>
Making sure that there is light in the mass room. Thank you very much. Lord, we really thank and appreciate you for all that you have done. Particularly, you have made this day a success. We thank you that everything has gone as planned. And as we move from here, oh God, to the place of internet. We continue to ask that the Spirit will direct. And as you go from here, we pray that the blessing of God the Father Almighty, the Son and the Holy Spirit, will continue to abide with you all and all of God's children, even now and forevermore. Amen. Just as we were praying, uh, a signal came that our in-laws from Archie in Enugu State has finally made it to this ground. Thank you very much for finding time to come. We appreciate, appreciate all of you and pray that our next meeting will continue to be a celebration and not this one. God bless you. Let's take 
our reception of him. As you do, Nima. Until the earth in its rebirth shall sing a song. Okay, 
702. Through the love of God our Savior, all will be well. shall stay until the day when the road shall be called up yonder. We commit this grave into your hands that this place will be a place of abode where your daughter will stay and have her rest until the day of rapture. We dedicate it unto you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Our sister, doctors of our time, Mamisis, Edna Wechi, also, who has just departed us, we therefore commit her remains unto the earth this day, earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, a sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yeah. We are, please, um, I don't know how you do here. all right please help us to cover it as we sing from our program i can have apple apple 
trois sens.